Well, I was wondering that. Is it okay to actually just take his jumper off so I can have a look at his dress? Yeah, sure. Is that alright? Sure. Yeah? Shall we, how no, shall we best do this? Yeah. Do you mind with me? Yeah, just because I don't want to surprise you. I don't know how it goes out. Okay, one, two, three. There we go. Thank you. So we're getting this. We made them specially for him because there's no such a place to do them because he dribbles a lot. Oh, of course. And he needs one. This, most of them, the short, small and short They're ones. They're too small, probably. And they get them yeah. here. And and now he's learning to put it in his mouth, which is a good thing. Yeah. Because he dribbles on the towel instead of dripping, eat the food all over his clothes. And because I was shouting at him a few times. Because when, especially when he eat eggs and oh, cakes, yeah. and this. And that's eat, such a smart top as well. You don't want to get smell, all messy. They smell. Take this off. Yeah. Do you mind? Thank you. Everything. I. Uh, yeah. If you think you'll okay. be alright, that would be great. Yes. Just I'll so I can have a look at his tummy. Come on. Show your soft skin. <laughs> Come on, you've got a lovely soft skin. There we go. Thank you so much. That's perfect. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. My daughter okay. said, Why can't I have a skin like my brother? I'm more hairy than him. <laughs> she's, okay. She's fine. She's right. worried about the hair in her legs. Let's have a look at your hands, my love. Fantastic. Okay. <coughs> Okay, so some scars on the backs of the hands, on the right hand side. You got scars, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Scars. This is. And also we've got yeah, the scar up here, yeah, hip which looks line. like from a line or from the hip yeah, line, and yeah. also one here. From this is yes. from another line as well, maybe. No, this is when the hickman line goes from the neck to the heart, so they feel yes. the minutes yeah. remaining. <laughs> Sorry, man. I shouldn't become a doctor of this experience. You probably know lots, I'm sure. Sorry, you were right. Well, uh, I've got a degree, though, but you know, I, I did psychology and social science, but not doctor. It costs a lot of money to become a doctor. Okay. Ahmed, would you open your mouth for me? Can you open your mouth for me? Let's have a look. Well done. Okay. All right. Let's just have a little look at your spine. No Okay, we're just going to listen. You like that wall, don't you? There are lots of things to play with. So today I've examined Ahmet, who's a 12 year old boy. I'm on entering the room, he was in a wheelchair. Um, uh, however, Dad was able to, to lift him onto the couch, but he was not able to, to walk unaided. Um, on inspection of his face, he has dysmorphic features, um, particularly he has a, a small head with microcephaly, um, and his ears were low set, he had quite a large mouth, and his eyes and nose and lips were quite closely clustered together in the centre of his face. Um, he looked very small for his age, but I'd like to plot his head circumference, weight and height on a growth chart. Um, on inspection of his hands, he had scars on the backs of the hands consistent with um, cannulas. He also had a scar on the right side of his neck, and also which was about an inch 
in Lent and also a scar just above his right nipple, which may be from previous Hickman lines. They're both well healed. He had normal heart sounds um, and a clear chest and his tummy was soft. Um, in summary, he's a, a 12 year old boy who appears to have um, developmental delay, small for his age with microcephalic and dysmorphic facial features. Um, but he did not have any other notable skeletal abnormalities or scoliosis. So in summary, my differential would be that this boy has a, a congenital syndrome. How would you manage Ahmed? Um, he's going to need quite a lot of support from different members of the team. So in terms of his developmental delay, he will need a community paediatrician. Um, he also will need um, input from physiotherapy and occupational therapy to try and optimise his function um, as much as possible. He will also, it's likely, depending on his home situation, that his parents may need help at home in terms of looking after him. Um, and he, in terms of schooling and education, he's likely to need a statement and to have considerable input at school um, and potentially one-to-one -one support. Um, would you have any recommendations for his feeding or nutrition? Um, so I would like to more fully assess his nutritional status, but he did look small um, for his age, although not particularly thin. Um, he was noted to be drooling quite a lot during the examination, so I'd be concerned about his swallow. Um, he will need input from a, a dietitian, um, potentially with consideration either of appropriate feeds to meet his nutritional needs or possibly supplemental feeds, and that could be something like nasogastric or gastrostomy feeds, but importantly he did not have either of these in situ at present. Can you tell me a little bit about disability living allowance? Um, so for children who need additional support there is um, additional financial aid available from the government. Um, it's quite a complex series of forms which need to be filled out but there are lots of organisations that can help and provide um, input and assistance with filling out the forms and that money can then be used to, to optimise function and quality of life.